You know, growing up in a small town in Vermont, the very last thing that I wanted to do when it came to going to college was to stay in the state of Vermont. And so I ended up going to Boston University, which was far enough away from my parents that they couldn't just drop by without telling me that they were coming. And I've never really regretted that decision until Boston University started pumping millions of dollars into Ibram X. Kendi, for which I will not give, give them one more dime of my money in donations. I'll tell you that right now. But where I wasn't going to go to college was the University of Vermont. And it wasn't because I didn't think it was a good school. I thought it was a great school. I just didn't want to go there having grown up in the state of Vermont. And I always used to tell people, man, if I hadn't grown up in Vermont, I would have gone there in a red second. Well, maybe, maybe every, everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. The universe is a glorious place. And now, just like Jody Shaw at Smith College, we have a whistleblower coming out of the University of Vermont and talking about the insane things that are going on there. So I want to introduce you to my friend, Aaron. Aaron is one of the nicest guys that you will ever meet in your life. Truly, I am very, very blessed to know him. I'm very blessed to call him a friend. I hope to bring him on this channel for a live stream uh, next week sometime, maybe a little bit after that. We're still figuring out the schedule, but he will be on this channel at some point. But Aaron recently released a video talking about what is going on at the University of Vermont in regards to these insane diversity and inclusion initiatives that are happening. And you guys already know this actually because we've talked about this on this channel. We, we actually talked about it on this channel before I ever even actually met Aaron. I, I did a, a live stream a couple months ago. If you go under past live streams on this channel, and I'll link everything in the description below, but I want you to see where this is. And you go to reacting to a diversity webinar about whiteness where I look crazy right here, I was actually reacting to a whiteness webinar from the University of Vermont for this teach-in series they did called Turning the Conversation to Whiteness. And yes, this webinar is just as crazy as you think it is. They are infusing this into their, into their staff. They are teaching this stuff to their students. I have heard crazy stories about what's going on at the University of Vermont. And so Aaron very bravely spoke up about it. I want to encourage all of you to go watch his video. It's 10 minutes long. I will link it in the description below talking about what's happening. And he's not, dude, like he's not a conservative. He's going to be labeled as a right wing conservative, of course, but he's not a conservative. He's just someone that is deeply concerned about the impact that this has on real lives. And he is a professor of counseling. He is literally one of the people that is training future therapists. So he knows. He understands what's going on here. And he understands the impact that it, that it would have. And he's just asking them to do things like define what it means to cause harm to someone. Define what it means to be diverse. Define what it means to be inclusive. He's not asking for the sun and the moon and the stars. But UVM has hit back on him, and I want to show you this statement that they just released last night because this is, this, what this is, is a university literally writing a, a public university, a university funded by the taxpayers, a public university literally admitting that they are teaching students what to think and not how to think. So this is the statement that came out of UVM, the College of Education and Social Services, last night. The following is a joint message from Patricia Prelock, Provost and Senior Vice President, and Scott Thomas, Dean of the College of Education and Social Services. Our joint statement is in response to a recent video posted by a professor in the College of Education and Social Services. We share our message in solidarity with our colleagues, students, and broader community as we seek greater diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, on our campus and in our world. First and foremost, recent views expressed by this individual do not reflect the values of the University of Vermont or our community. The leadership of the university is united in our unwavering commitment to the foundational values of racial and social justice. 
Additionally, the core faculty in the program and several students have taken a stand against the positions espoused in the video and other postings. We value freedom of expression and the rights of individuals, or excuse me, the right of people to adhere to their own worldview, and we cannot force any one individual to adopt our institutional values, but we are entitled to promote those values. The most effective way to guard against attempts to derail our DEI efforts is to unite as one in pursuit of our shared goal. This, this paragraph is particularly crazy. Okay, let's just break this down. We are entitled to promote these values. Dude, you are a university. You are supposed to teach people a wide variety of ideas and then let them think for themselves. You literally just confessed that you are promoting the values of a fringe ideology that has no academic basis. And you are encouraging your students and your staff to unite as one in solidarity to support these values. You literally just confess that you're an indoctrination factory and not a goddamn university. What are you doing? You are a publicly funded university. Let's keep going. We will continue to lean into our DEI efforts and in doing so, create further opportunities to strengthen our community. This event has given us further clarity and resolve about the importance of our commitment to our common groundwork values and DEI work. So basically what they said is, a professor said something we don't like and now we're going to dig in our heels like children instead of considering the very real questions that he raised because we don't want to define harm. We don't want to define diversity. We don't want to define inclusion. We just want everyone to assimilate to the values that we are trying to force on them like the goddamn Borg. Immediately. We are taking steps that will allow any student who wishes to seek alternative courses taught by other faculty members to complete their program requirements. We will continue to monitor the situation and work to ensure students feel safe and supported. They're going to monitor a rogue faculty member who is posting videos on the internet. We know there is anger, pain, and sadness when the lived experiences of individuals committed to DEI are denied or diminished. That's not what Aaron did. It's not what he did. He asked for terms to be defined. That is what he asked for. He asked for terms to be defined and they couldn't provide a definition of terms. And now they're, they're trying to basically smear him to say he's denying. Their lived experiences. No, he's not. You, University of Vermont, why are you denying the lived experience of one of your faculty members? Why are you denying the lived experience of your staff member and smearing him to the world? We hear you. We value the voice you are giving to the concerns many of us share in these messages. In solidarity. So. To all of my friends in Vermont who are thinking of sending your kids to UVM because you think you got a world-class school in your backyard, the university just told you, they literally just told you that their mission is to indoctrinate your children into their values. They are discouraging people from listening to people who disagree with them. They are literally telling them in this statement, if you, if you don't want to take a class with this monster, you can opt right out. That's what they're doing. UVM just laid their confession out there. When people tell you who they are, believe them. Believe them. Crazy town. Crazy, crazy. Well, like I said, I am, I'm actually next week, uh, on Tuesday, I believe, going to be doing a live stream with, with the infamous Jody Shaw. Gabrielle Clark is going to join us as well. She's the mom out in Nevada that's suing her son's schools. And I am working on getting a stream set up with Aaron so you guys can hear from him. He is, he is a wonderful, wonderful person. And I am sending him all the strength and love. He is being very brave by speaking out against these people. And we know they're going to smear him. They've already started and he doesn't deserve it. He is a good person that is speaking up, that is being brave, that is trying to do the right thing. And so Aaron, I salute you, my friend. I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, that's all we have for right now. I'll see you soon.